You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching. Hard. You want to sit around, wait for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Driscoll's! You're dead, you sons of bitches! Oh, yeah? Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Hey, you see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Colm? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. with the death wish. I am doing everything I can to keep these people alive. Pinkertons. Lots of them, and bounty hunters too, more than ever before. And all after us, we were set up in Blackwater, and none of them dumb enough to take that pass in winter or think us fool enough to do it neither. We got a few weeks. By the time they find out where we are, we'll be gone. Where to? I ain't got that yet. <laughs> but this ain't done. <laughs> Not no way! <laughs> you warned them about that Blackwater job. Yes, but who listens to me anymore? No, we'll work this out. You okay in here, Charles? All right, considering. Well, try to rest that hand. I ain't sure how long we can realistically stay up here, Dutch. Oh, you don't start to. You're getting as bad as he is. Okay, well, we don't have to talk about this now. Boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> a party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching. Hard! You want to sit around, wait for him to come find us? <laughs> All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Comb 
always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this core of their planet. There's quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Annabelle, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Hold up here. Oh. All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? ready? Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. You got it, Dutch. Good. Come on, let's go. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just 
Wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including Comb, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. Deep here. Careful. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Get down through these trees, quick. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. Make the call, Arthur. Okay, I'll go first. Feller didn't have much choice. Was picking his teeth off the floor. And you didn't tell him nothing. Not a word. Find out what they're doing here, and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. <gasps> Where's Colm O'Driscoll? Uh, with the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. <gasps> Get the hell out of here. Go!
bodies. Strip everything we can from them. Of course not. Cole doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun and ride a horse and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Cole doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Heads up, boys! We got more coming in from the forest! Arthur, get over here! We don't have time to mess around! Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart! <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick! Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go!
Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you, boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us as hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head'll hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Hey, you see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Colm? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. Yeah! Go, go! your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Something you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! I'm no use to you. I'm fecking you. You better shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. I've only been running with them a couple of months. I, I don't know nothing real about them, honest. I don't want to die, mister. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay? Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Don't 
don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <coughs> I got them. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle! Mr. Williamson! Tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. Who shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on coal. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Having fun in here, Lenny? More since we robbed the O'Driscolls. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be out of here soon. Anyway, try not to worry. Okay. You okay, Bill? Are we gonna hit this train then? Seems that way. Guess that worked out with the old Driscolls. Now we just have to rob this train, get out of here. Yeah, but them wagons are still snowed in. So, how you feeling about this train? I mean, you gotta do something. Yeah, but that's more than something. They'll come looking for me, you know. Well, maybe they'll come looking for those old Driscoll boys we killed at that ranch down the way. Who is that? Declan? Fat Tommy? I ain't asking for much. Please. I am kind of desperate. Hey. I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here! It's goddamn Dutch Vandal and you morons! Comb is gonna shit his pants! Put your hands up! Over there! As far as introductions. Oh, 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 God. Is the old Driscoll behaving himself? 
Seems to be. Moans a lot. Keep them nice and hungry. Send someone down the track back of that farmhouse. Okay. Why? That poor woman's husband needs burying. Of course. And is it safe down there? Oh, just send someone sensible. Understood. All right. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. The body's in a wagon out front of the house. I'll send someone. Thanks, Jose. Good call, Dutch. It's the least we can do for the poor woman. I say Mikey should do it, but that ain't a good idea. <laughs> How you doing, Molly? So now you're robbing a train. How is that gonna help us? I'd speak to Dutch about that.
so fast, eh? Save your breath for screaming. No, please! 